Hey everyone. Uh, happy Monday. Got a few things to share. Um, first thing I'm going to share is my Stamps of Life monthly dying stamps. I usually don't show those, but it was there. Um, these are some project shares I did um, over the weekend. Well, projects I made over the weekend. The first thing is the Anna Griffin cart ohm, ohm, however you pronounce it. The new one she just came out with for men. This is a card I made um, playing with it. Um, just trying it out. And the other one I did was the train easel. And here it is. I love it. It came out so good. I'll stand it up so y'all can see it's dead. But yeah, it came out perfect. It's for my dad. I don't think he watches my videos, but there it is. So that was that one. And then I found this in my stash um, when I was in the Spellbinders Clubs. Um, this makes a little box that you put a tea light in, a battery operated tea light. So I used that. I used some paper from my stash, and then I have received this vellum and some stuff I had gotten from my friend. Whoops, I just dropped that on the floor. On some stuff she was given. So I used some vellum out of it and I haven't found the tea light for it yet, but whoops. I put the cat and this is trick or treat. Cute. So those were my project shares. Um, I do have one more thing. Um, I bought this stamp D stash online last week one day. This was ten dollars plus six something for shipping, which was almost seven dollars. So it was just, I say seventeen dollars at the most. So it had the it was all cats. So it had that cute little cat. This one. This one. Whoops. This one doesn't have a picture with it. It's a little handheld one. I actually like that. I don't know where some of these are from. Um, this one doesn't have a picture either. It's just a face. <laughs> I like this one. And that's actually commotion rubber stamps. And then there's this one that is magenta. Oops, I got it upside down. So, I saw this lot and I jumped on it. I don't know if the person realized what they had or not. But I'm always late to the ball game with these things. And I don't know if y'all realize the, the big craze of Diana Markham stamps, which I'm not paying, you know, hundreds of dollars for a stamp. So, mind you, she was selling, I'll say she, whoever it was, was selling this lot for $10 plus shipping. Y'all, I got that stamp in it. Yes, that was a good find for $10. Um, I don't even know if I saw this one for sale last year. Um, I've got a couple up there I bought and I paid like 30 bucks a piece for them. So, irregardless of the fact even if I paid 30 bucks for the other two, I got this one for a dollar, really, because it was t there was 10 in the box. So a dollar I paid for it. Yeah, so, and it doesn't look like, if it's been used, it's been gently used. Yeah, I was excited about that find, y'all. So that's my little share for today. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.